Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about the activity books that I got from my sons. First, I want to talk about the Giant Play and Learn book by, by Pascal Estelon. I hope I got the name right. I love this book, book for my kindergarten because it has a lot of activities and stickers to do. You can learn shapes, reading and writing and everything for fun and coloring and also painting. So we already finished the first page for the sticker activity, which is learning about shapes, the basic shapes like the square, the triangle, the rectangle, the circle, and then you have to arrange them according to their size. I think that's a good way of learning from introducing shapes and sizes to your kindergarten. So we had fun doing this. As you can see, you can see the instructions on what to do. In each page, there are instructions on what to do and, and how you can explain to your child what, what activity that you would be making with them. For this one, again, we did a sticker activity. It is says in sticker page one, the stickers that you would need to do this activity is there. So we made Violet's hair with the sticker page one. Here you go. Okay, for example, in here you can see reading and writing, which is in page 72, I believe. Yes, so there. You can see reading and writing in page 72. For example, um, for example here, uh, instead of a drawing of the eye or the nose or the body parts, they would write the name instead. For example, the eye, nose, the smile, the hand, the arm, the body, the hair, everything is written in words instead of being drawn. I think that's really clever of doing it. For example, the rabbit as well, the ear, the whiskers, the eye, the back leg, the front leg. And then for example, this one is reading as well for the giraffe and for the monster. And then the forest and then the word the sea the sea and then the sun i think it's a good way to practice reading as well and then you can also color the the drawings as well so i i really like this page and um, i hope my son and i would have a good time going through this book together so i'm going to flip more of the pages so you can see see what other activities that the book has to offer. This is actually my favorite um, page from the whole book is I draw and paint with so there are drawings and the different types of paint that you or drawing materials materials that you can use for example there is the watercolor the pastel the paint and with the toothbrush the paper collage I love it because I love to draw and here make these two horses as possible and paint this faces however you like so you could use whatever that was on the previous page you can use the collage you can use the oil pastel you can use the crayons and here are the other stickers at the back that you can use for example here is the um that we already did together which is the fruit sticker and the vegetable sticker um at the back you can find the stickers that you would need to do that activity so here are the sound of the stickers that you can see and here is the uh, fruit and the 
a vegetable activity that we did together, I think earlier today. So here you can, I will flip through through the book and you would, and so you can see them all. So at the back of the of the book, you can see um, the important early learning skills included in this book, which is the letters, numbers, reading, writing, matching, groupings, and direction words. So, uh, it is a good activity book for a kindergartner, of ages probably ages probably from four to six years old. Uh, I think it's it's worth the buy. I love to illustrate, as I mentioned earlier, I love the illustration, I love the activities inside the book, and my son is also enjoying doing this together. So I will flip through the pages so you can see more of the book. The second activity book I'm going to be showing is The Kids Awesome Activity Book by Mike Lowry. My son adores this book. He loves this. He's the one who asked us for this book a couple of weeks ago. It came late because we had to order it through Book Depository. So um, it's ideally for third graders who are ages 8 and up. It has a lot of activities and then it has around 400 stickers which I really love so I am going to flip through the pages of the book and so you can see more about it My son loves to do maze, he loves to do crossword puzzles, so this one is actually a really huge hit for my older son. And then he loves the um, illustration, he loves the octopus and the jellyfish here, and then you can see Oh, I I love I also love the illustration. As you can, I am a fan of books that has really good illustration, and I absolutely adore his books. Um, and then there is where you can uh, more mazes that my son loves, and then here you can draw the dance party, and then they have also where you can make your tiny banner where you can cut off the. Um, it's a cardboard that you can cut off and then make your own banner. So I really like that. We both really want to do that maybe after making this video. So I'm going to flip through more of the pages so you can see them.
So at the back of the book, you can see the 400 pieces stickers as mentioned in the front of the book. So I think there are around five pages of stickers in this book. Uh, you can use them for the activity or you can have your kid put, put them on their notebook or whatever they want to do. I love them. I love the tiny stickers. I like collecting stickers. And so here is the poster book. I mean, the, not the poster, sorry. It is the poster that comes with the book. Is either you can have your child color at the back of the poster or you can just hang it as it is. My son prefers to hang the poster in his wall. So he, I'm going to flip more through the pages so you can see them once again.